Hi Calorie Kids, my name is Jesse and I want to welcome to this today's video. This is right after Christmas and which means you guys had a lot of food, opened up a lot of presents, had a good time with your family and I hope you did too. But today we're going to be learning about the theme unexpected. Do you guys know what happened after Jesus was born? Something might have unexpectedly happened. And so we're going to be learning about that with Miss Barb. We're also going to be doing some lessons and stuff after that. But what I really want you, and games too, but after, I really want you to stay to the very end because Miss Barb has a really special message for you. So stick around and watch and enjoy this video. See you, kids. Hi, kids. Welcome. Welcome to our Sunday talk. Christmas 2020 has come and gone already. Can you believe it? I hope you and your family had a fabulous day, Christmas Day, celebrating Jesus coming to earth. Was Christmas a little different for you this year? Mine sure was. Have you noticed that sometimes things just go a different way? They, unexpected things happen and you just can't imagine why they happened that way. 2020 was a year like that. It was totally unexpected. And we had to stay separate from our friends and sometimes that was lonely, boring, sad. And school was online or not, depending what you did at your house. Everything was so different. Maybe you had to move or maybe somebody was sick in your household and it was totally unexpected for you. Well, it happens that way all the time for everybody. Things happen that we just don't expect. And it was the same for Joseph and Mary. Do you know they stayed in Bethlehem a little while after Jesus was born? But do you know what happened after that? Well, they had unexpected visitors. They didn't know that the wise men were coming. And I want to read to you a little bit from Matthew chapter 2 and um, to see what happens after that. You will be so surprised. So after the wise men had left, this is what happened next. When the wise men had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up. He took the child and his mother during the night and they left for Egypt, where they stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet in the Old Testament, out of Egypt, I will call my son. Well, can you imagine? I can't. I can't imagine how unexpected that would have been for Joseph to be woken up in the night and then to be Mary and have Joseph come and wake you up and say, Mary, we've got to leave right now in the dark. Grab the baby, grab all our stuff. And off they went into the night. Do you think they had a flashlight? I don't think they did. Do you think that they had a lantern? They may have, but I think they were trying to be secretively fleeing away to Egypt. So they might have just had the light of the moon to lead them through that dark night to Egypt. It was such an unexpected trip, but God wasn't surprised at all. In fact, it was part of his plan. It was only Joseph and Mary who didn't know about it. God had given Joseph everything he needed to know to keep Mary and baby Jesus safe. They got to Egypt and they lived there safely until King Herod died. And then they returned back to Israel. How did Joseph know that it was safe? How did he know that Herod had died? Well, an angel, of course. Another dream, another angel told Joseph, it's safe to return. You can go back to your country. And that's when they journeyed all the way back and found a place in Nazareth to live. And Jesus was raised as a boy, helping his mom and dad in Nazareth. Well, you know, I am so glad that Joseph listened to God's angel I am so glad he obeyed. The story would have been so different if he hadn't. And it's the same for you and I. 
If unexpected things are going to be happening to us, God is going to help us with that. Every time something happened to Joseph, God was there to give him direction. And God wants to give you an eye direction too. And he wants to help us. He is with us. He wants us to look at the words in his Bible. That will help us. He wants us to talk to him. And we can talk to him anytime, any day, and tell him that you're uncomfortable. This feels unexpected. And he will help you and he will give you strength. Isn't God amazing? He provides and he helps and he will be with us anytime when unexpected things come your way, okay? I want you to remember that for 2021. So right now, um, we have a, a video game, and um, I think there some crazy creatures are gonna come up and some information, and you have to guess the answers. And I think some of them are gonna be unexpected answers. All right, have fun. <music> So were you surprised at some of those um, answers? I sure was. Like the shrimp, for instance. His heart is in his head. That's crazy. Anyway, that was a little fun, wasn't it? Well, you might have heard some more unexpected news that I haven't had a chance to tell you myself. I so badly wanted us to get together so that I could talk to you about the fact I'm not going to be here as the children's director at Calvary. I am finished at the end of December. Now you might have already heard that and that might have been unexpected news for you. But I think it's time for me to let somebody else do this job. And you know what? It's not unexpected for God. He knows and he's got a really good plan for us. You know what? I am so desperately going to miss you guys though because I think the world of you. And it has been fun watching you grow up and watching you grow in your faith. It's been so good. But the good news is this. I will still be coming to Calvary and I will be worshiping at Calvary. And um, we can do that together in the main odd. And I'll see you in the hallways, okay? So that will be fun for me. And the other good news is Jesse Bone is here and he wants to come and hang out with you guys. He's moved to Peterborough. He started to come to Calvary and he is going to be here and he's going to be planning some good things for 2021. 2021, no, 2020 is over, okay? We're going to go to 2021. And 
I want you to introduce yourself to them and tell them, say, hey, I'm Charlie. I'm Olivia. Make sure you tell him your names and get to know him because he wants to know you. What I love about you guys is your love for God. I love it. And you and I and Jesse, we all want to grow up to be just like Jesus, right? Of course we do. Your parents and Jesse are going to help you grow in your faith. And we will see what great leaders you're going to be as you get older. And you know what? You're still going to see your regular leaders when we're allowed to come back and be together. All right? And so my prayer for you is this, that you won't give up doing what's right. Always stand firm in your faith. Do you remember Ephesians 6? We studied it last spring. Maybe we were on Zoom calls, but Ephesians 6 talks about standing firm in your faith and putting on the armor of God, putting on the belt of truth, be always telling the truth, and the shoes of peace, be taking peace to other people, to read your Bible. That's the sword that'll make you strong and powerful. Well, just like this orange, if you start, it floats, right? So that's kind of like an example of wearing your armor and staying close to God, reading the Bible and praying. That skin around that orange, it's keeping it safe. That's like your armor. And um, if you keep doing those things, you will stay strong. But if you get lazy and you decide, hmm, it's not important to talk to God or it's not important to read my Bible today, well, you know what? It's going to get hard to do what's right. It's going to be hard to stand firm. So look what happens. Sinks to the bottom because he doesn't have his armor on. So I am going to ask you, to keep doing what's right. Stand firm in your faith in God and keep following him. God's crazy about you and he wants to be with you. He is with you. He, you are his masterpiece and uh, he loves you. So stay firm in your faith. Follow God. Do what's right and God will be with you. Remember, God knows about every unexpected thing that's going to come your way. And if you look to him, he's going to help you. All right? That's my prayer for you. And I'll see you around. Okay, Calvary kids? I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.